So I work on a little bit of everything. I provide technical direction, uh, product direction, product advice, and in general, help in areas of, of greatest need. Um, and I love networking, so this was a good project for me. Roughly 34 cabinets. It's a it's a fair amount of gear. Uh, in my mind, it's about 200 devices of switches, of servers, of in some case virtualized devices. And there is a a bunch of different development groups that are cramming a lot into those cabinets. So it's a very complicated network. So we need a, a bunch of segregation and, and a lot of things that to, to up and go, in addition to just the production and the support and everything else happening. So it's, it's an interesting network. We work closely with our co-location facility and they have more experience in, in running data centers than, than actually we do. So they're largely responsible for the the power and the AC and, and security and some other things too, because right? it's their facility. But they had heavy involvement in moving and planning it. So it, it was a fair number of people on, on our side. So the IT teams, the development teams are responsible for the things in their rack. So everyone who had their ownership and involvement with it really played a, a, a big role. So it was a big orchestration and coordination effort. Um, mostly we planned it as a forklift move so we divide it into four different groups and, and moving the more important things together and, and moving it logically. So there, we had a split time where things were a little bit spread amongst diff two different sites. Um, but we mostly did it as a forklift move with the exception of uh, we layered in new firewalls and some, some higher security standards as we moved. We just got a lot of, we got a lot more compliance and ability to respond to auditors and and, and just a lot more of everything with, with this move. Uh, additional power, additional backup, additional routes to networks. Uh, we really up, upgraded the backbone and the, and the things behind our network. Um, so just to get in, it's biometric, it's, it, it's dual factor just to get into the lab. Um, and the new facility is, it, it really, it, it's all good, also gave us a bunch of interconnects in, into new places as well. Yeah, mostly as planned. I think the hard part was it was a, a, a tough schedule. So we really did it pretty quickly. So I think it was a, about a, a month start to finish but the first date came quickly. So we just to build in the, the first part of the, the network was, we had really compressed schedules just to get the first move in. So that was the first part is getting that first move in and getting, getting people in remotely. And there's just so much uh, network infrastructure to build on the first move. So that mostly went as planned. So the, my recommendation, if, if we would do this again, is somehow figure out how to, to pre-configure or get all the networking gear and firewalls and everything lined up and working and remote access and figure out how to get that installed and working in advance. Uh, a few people and I and the IT team had a, a, a fair number of late nights as we did that. So it's probably to be expected, but uh, we really could have done it with, with almost business hours or, or a few evenings if, if, if it really were, uh, the, if we really could have forklifted in the new network infrastructure too. The, 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 the VMS stuff really, really was forklifted, move it and rerun wires and put it back up and it worked pretty well. I think the biggest thing with our, our connect, so we really fast backbone to, to in and out of there um, and redundant backbone so I think the biggest thing is it lets us concentrate on what's important. So we don't have to worry about watching alarms to see if the if, what the air conditioning is happening or figuring out what's up, how the backup diesel generator works. And they just do a lot of that for us. And I think the bigger thing is it because we have we'll be concentrating more on what's important. It lets us work on uh, on virtualization technology a little bit more. So we can think and, and have, again, faster interconnects. But ultimately, people are not going to care about these racks of servers. Are they sitting in our data center? Are they sitting somewhere else? Um, 
we could really spin up another data center somewhere else for some of our offshore employees or employees in Europe and increase latency. And I don't think any would notice. So being being able to just virtualize as much as possible and, and make virtualization core to what we're doing. I, I think there's a lot of new opportunities there. So the, well, even ju just to get into our network, we virtualized our VPN entrance. So the interesting thing is there, we can move that VPN entrance wherever we're seeing the best performance for our users, or we can add backups and other ones. Um, and even core to VMS itself. Um, I don't think customers are, are starting to care about where their box is. I think a lot of people are, are moving to cloud models, whether it's private cloud or private public cloud or hybrid cloud. So I think there's new opportunities for us to work on, uh, on our virtual, virtualizing VMS customers and giving them the tools that they need to, to work in this environment. So one thing I forgot to mention on on the virtualization is we really layered in a new layer of tools um, on top of our network. So if developers are doing exotic things, we can we can really control a lot remotely, and, but also get statistics on on exactly what's happening or, or where problem areas are. So we've layered in a few different vendors on top of it, and we're really trying to layer in more commodity type gear um, and also not just so we can get great performance and inter interesting statistics um, but also drive down some of the cost of just our, our our core monitoring so I think we're getting getting great performance out of some of our gear here um, and we've been using Fortinet and Unify but I, I, I've been very happy with our new level of monitoring and control that, that we've been able to layer on top.